Does this camping setup allow us to get out adventuring right now using what we already have? Yes, and that's what's important. We spend a lot of time outdoors adventuring and camping out of our Honda Pilot SUV. Earlier this year, we created a simple custom camp kitchen build for the Honda Pilot. In case you missed that tour, I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. The best part about our camping setup is there are no permanent changes to the SUV because it's also a daily driver. We've had a lot of interest to see the inside sleeping area. It's currently set up to sleep too. This is what it looks like and how we make it cozy and comfortable. None of this is sponsored by the way, it's just gear that we've collected over the years and love. Our sleeping setup is super simple and can easily be made with things you already have around the house. We lay down the second and third row seats, toss in our four inch folding mattress, and a couple of full size pillows from home. They're comfortable and they don't take up that much extra room. We typically bring individual three season sleeping bags. They're comfortable, cozy, and and easy to clean when we get home. Sometimes we add a quilt or a throw blanket. We might use any combination of these depending on the weather. If it's very hot, I'll use a sand cloud beach towel. And yes, there is a slight incline that for now we compensate by rolling the back tire onto a leveling block. Battery operated lights or a solar lantern provide just enough ambient light. We have two USB rechargeable headlamps and flashlights for time spent outside after dark, along with two USB rechargeable fans for a cool breeze on warm nights. We keep the Garmin InReach Mini charged and nearby for peace of mind on our off-grid adventures. It's a paid GPS service with two-way messaging, SOS alerts, and location sharing for areas without cell phone coverage. And here's an important tip. Always remember to keep your car keys in the same spot. We like this clip to secure them. We store Reflectix window covers in the cargo net mounted to the ceiling, and we use bug nets to cover the windows to let the fresh air in and keep the bugs out. We're fairly minimal with the clothes we choose to bring. They store in packing cubes that fit perfectly in the cargo net attached to a clothing rod that hangs across the back. Over the years, we've slowly upgraded our camping gear. This year, we added a 4-inch trifold mattress. If you're just getting started with car camping, my number one suggestion is test the sleeping setup with things you already own. In the past, we've used a full-sized air mattress, self-inflating camping pads, a 4-inch memory foam topper, and we even tried a 4-inch mattress from a folding IKEA bed that we already have at home. The trifold mattress fits the bill for us and by far has been our favorite. Because our setup is unique with the kitchen build in the back, we had to think creatively. We don't have a full 75 inches of length for all three portions of the trifold mattress without moving our seats forward. We modified the foam length to suit our needs. If you're interested in how we did that, let us know in the comments below. When it's time to pack up and head home, the trifold mattress neatly stores in the third row seating area, ready and waiting for our next adventure. While this setup isn't for everyone, it suits our needs very well. Earlier this summer we spent eight consecutive nights camping on the Washington coast. We had a great time, slept really well, and we weren't ready to come home. And that speaks for itself. If you're curious to see the new setup for my solo camping adventures, make sure to subscribe because that video is coming soon. Thanks so much for being here and we'll see you on our next outdoor adventure. Sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon, side by side and through and through, no limit to what we can do.